Cheers! Those melting on tears. Hi, I'm Meg. Hi, I'm Ryden. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I hope you'll take a look around at some other videos while you're here. I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. It has been very hot here over the last few days. Yeah. So we decided it would be a great time to share a nice cream recipe, another nice cream recipe. We've already have a few on the channel and a few on the website, and a new popsicle recipe. We recently found some popsicle molds on sale and so we're gonna share uh, a popsicle recipe. I'm not sure how perfected that recipe is so it may or may not make it to the blog but either way I'll leave uh, the recipe below in some form or another so you can know what it is. I think it's gonna be quite sour because there's lime in it but we like sour things, so we'll see how it goes. We haven't taste tested them yet. We will do that later in the video. <laughs> yeah. Right? Right. I hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a like. Subscribe below if you haven't already for more content like this, plus healthy weight loss tips, lifestyle tips, and other fun stuff. And with that, let's get right into it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, blueberry pineapple nice cream. So delicious. I'm starting off with one banana. I just freeze my bananas whole and then break them up and pop them into the Vitamix. Have my trusty Vitamix blender here. I absolutely love this thing. <laughs> we use it all the time. Adding one cup of frozen blueberries. One cup of frozen pineapple. I allow the fruit to defrost for a few minutes out of the freezer just so that it's a bit easier to blend and doesn't take as much work in the blender. Next I'm adding two tablespoons of plant milk. Today I'm using oat milk but you could use soy, almond, any other plant milk that you enjoy, any non-dairy milk. I'm starting with two tablespoons. I might need to add a little bit more but I like to start small and just add as I go. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it up. If it needs a little bit more milk, I'll add a little bit more as we go. And it's as easy as that. Delicious blueberry pineapple and ice cream. So yummy. So refreshing. Absolutely delicious on a hot summer's day. What did you think? I think it was really yummy. Really yummy. I agree. It was really, really yummy. We've also tested that recipe without the banana and that works well too. Not quite as creamy, but still works, still is delicious. So for anyone who doesn't like banana or can't eat banana or just wants to switch it up, you can leave the banana out of that recipe. All right, cherry lime popsicles. We're gonna give these a go. It's a bit of an experiment. We have a new popsicle mold, so we'll show you what that looks like and put it all together. Super simple recipe, and I'm sure it'll be delicious. Ryden's helping me out. So here we go. First thing we're gonna add is... Let's add the limes. There we go. Okay. Cherries. Frozen cherries. Oh. Can you reach? Good job. That was really good. <laughs> now water. Oops. Oh, some got stuck. <laughs> there we go. Now water. Now let's do some water. We got the water in. Now we're going to blind them. 
We're just getting all ready. Let's turn it on. There. Mm -hmm. Then maybe three. Now we're all done. All right. You want to do a little taste test before we pour them in the mold? Yep. Taste testing time. Let's do our taste testing. This is going to be really exciting. I hope this is going to be tasty. Mmm. That's sweet. Yeah, it tastes yummy. Really yummy. Okay. It's really, really sweet. I need more. <laughs> very sweet and very sour. Yum. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pour the mixture into the molds here. And I'm really excited to taste them when it's all ready. I'm really excited to do that. We're filling them up. It looks like that's filled pretty well. Let's do the next one. It fills up pretty quick. Mm -hmm. It also makes kind of weird noise too. Yeah, I'm not sure quite how full to make them. I don't know if we'll have enough liquid for all of these either, because we're just giving them a first try. I'm not sure if these are filled enough. Well, this is a bit of an experiment with our first time using them. I think maybe I should have filled them a little bit more, because it looks like there's going to be a gap between where the popsicle mixture ends and where the actual handle is. So we'll see how these go. On second thought, I decided to fill these popsicle molds all the way to the top because I was seeing that there was quite a gap between the handles and the popsicle itself. So I thought it might create issues when we we're trying to get them to freeze up or when we're trying to get the popsicles actually out of the molds and eating them might be awkward. So I thought better of it and uh, decided to fill the molds all the way. So I just took the fifth popsicle and topped up the four other popsicles. So we have four full ones and then I'll show you what the fifth one looks like. So we decided to fill the remaining one and three quarters of the popsicle mold with applesauce. Which was, and I think it's going to be tasty that way. So we'll show you how they turn out tomorrow. And they're going to be really tasty tomorrow. <laughs> I'm really excited to taste them. Yeah, they should be really yummy. And now we're going to taste test our popsicles. They've been in the freezer overnight. Like you saw, we did our cherry lime and then we did one and a bit with applesauce in it. So we're going to do a little taste test. We have a couple of popsicles in front of us. Ryden wanted the fancy popsicle. <laughs> Can you get it out of the... I ran these under warm water and they pop out pretty easily. It's nice to have them individually to run under the hot water rather than like a full sleeve, like a full, um, you know, a six pack that you have to run the entire Thing under the water to make one or two pop out. So I like that they're individual like this. They're huge. These are so big, like compared to my head, <laughs> compared to Riordan's set. They're really big. Um, maybe I'll show you our other popsicle molds for comparison. I'll insert a little clip. But uh, yeah, so far so good with these popsicle molds. How's it tasting? Tasty. Ooh, that's really sour. So I don't think I'll leave the cherry lime popsicle recipe on the blog just because it is very sour and I didn't have quite the right measurements to fill the full popsicle mold. So once I kind of refine that and tweak it a little bit to be not quite as sour and to be enough mixture for the full mold, I will add it to the blog. For now, I'll just leave the what we did in the description box below so you can see if you do want to try it out. It is warning, it is very sour. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like sour things, this one might be one to skip. But if you enjoy sour, try it. Try it. It's very good. 
Do you like the combination of the apple with the cherry lime? Yeah, that'd be good. Mm. That's yummy. That's tart, but that's yummy. I'm not actually biting. Yeah, well, they're kind of soft enough that you don't really need to bite them, which would be nice for Chris, actually, because he tends to have more sensitive teeth to um, really cold things. So, yeah. Chris does not like sour. You mean Daddy doesn't like sour things? Yeah. <laughs> Very tasty. Mm. And I love sour. Me too. Sometimes I just eat lemons. Yes, Raridan does like to just eat lemons. We should tell people how the applesauce works out. Yeah. Apple paste tastes yummy. The apple part tastes yummy? The apple part, as you saw, literally just applesauce. So that is probably the easiest way to make a popsicle using fruit juice or using um, a fruit sauce of some kind. Applesauce works really well for us. We really enjoy those new Tavolo popsicle molds. Really, really work well. They're a bigger popsicle, which is kind of nice just to switch it up. They're really big. They may be a little bit heavier, but... They might be a little bit heavier, but that's okay, right? Yeah. Yeah. One more quick thing that I wanted to mention. We're almost at the bottom. Well, I'm almost at the bottom of my popsicle. And Raridan's working his way. So they do start to drip a little bit, but the really cool thing about these is that if you can see the base, I'm trying not to hold it over Raridan's face, but I'll show you. If you look at the base here, there's quite a bit of space. And so when it drips, it just collects in this little tray thing at the bottom. So I thought that was really smart, really intelligently designed. Uh, so I just wanted to mention that. So when it starts dripping, it just kind of collects in here. So that's pretty cool. I'll see if I can show it without making a huge mess. Anyway, I thought that was a smart design choice and I just wanted to share that as well. So just a little further to what I was saying with the design choice to have this deep um, part on the holder so that it holds the juice and it doesn't make a huge mess and go everywhere. If you spill said juice or over, then yes, it will make a ginormous mess. <laughs> so for Arden, it just has experienced that. So I wanted to mention that that's a thing that can happen. Um, and also, now that I'm right at the bottom of my popsicle, it's hard to get that last little bit of popsicle out because of this deeper part. So yeah, it's a little awkward to get just that little last bit of popsicle out. So just another thing to mention, not a huge deal. Um, you could easily just grab a spoon or a fork or something and just scoop it out. But yeah, just something to mention that that's a little bit weird once you get to the bottom. Overall, I really enjoy these popsicle molds, highly recommend. And we got them at a great price too, which was really awesome. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. We hope you really enjoy these recipes. Let us know if you give them a try and if you maybe make little changes or little tweaks uh, to suit your own taste preferences. We always love to hear what you guys are doing with our recipes to make them your own and make them the most enjoyable for you. Yeah. Yeah. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe below if you haven't already and hit the little notification bell to be notified whenever we upload a new video. We hope you're having an amazing day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.